Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today I want to discuss with all of you the DLC cards that I think are going to release in this year's Summer DLC in GTA Online. <laughs> Now I've done a few of these prediction videos in the past and you guys really seem to like them so I thought I would do it again. And based on vehicles that we've seen in previous DLCs we can make a few predictions what Rockstar might add. And I think the next summer DLC for 2021 is going to be similar to what we saw in 2020. It's going to be a small filler style DLC before the expanded and enhanced version releases in the fall. Now we're going to start off with the supercars class and my first car is the Koningsegg Gemera. Now this has just released. Um, personally I'm not a fan of this vehicle but Rockstar do like to add newly released supercars. The other one that I can see them adding is the Bugatti Bolide. Now this is a sort of road legal or I think it's going to be road legal track car. Um, and it is under the Bugatti brand, which Rockstar seem to love. Or the other version is the Center Dieci. This is the Bugatti Center Dieci, and I could see them adding this as well. This has been around since 2019, um, and I believe it is only a concept car, but Rockstar do like to add concept cars into GT Online. So then we move on to the open wheels class and um, I've got sort of three cars here. Um, the first one is a Formula E car. We don't have an electric um, open wheel car yet. Now I'm not sure if Rockstar would ever add a Formula E car because I could see it sort of ruining the open wheel class. Um, if all the other cars are really slow and the electric cars like got super acceleration and stuff. Um, but a Formula E car would be really cool. The next car I could see is some kind of Ferrari open wheel car. We have a lot of Ferrari F1 cars in the real world, so it makes sense that they'd add one in the open wheel class. And finally, some kind of six wheel F1 car. Now this is also like the uh, uh, Formula E car. I'm not sure if they would ever actually add this, because it might wreck the class a little bit. Um, but some kind of six wheel F1 car would be a really nice addition. Then we move over to the sports class. Now we've already got one sports car that Rockstar have hinted and that is the new Toyota Celica um, is going to be added. And I can see Rockstar adding a lot of these kind of JDM style vehicles to the game. They've already teased that this is going to be a car related DLC. So it makes sense that they would add some more vehicles like that. So my next vehicle on the list is the Mazda RX-7. Now, some of you will already be typing in the comment section, but we already have a Mazda RX-7 in the game. Well, the Bravado Banshee is not really an RX-7. Yes, it has some RX-7 parts on it. It makes a noise like a rotary-powered car. And it does have the Fast and Furious-style livery, but it is based primarily on a Dodge Viper. My next car is the clean ZR380. Now we already have the ZR380 in the game. It's one of the Arena War vehicles, but the community has been asking for quite a while now for a clean version of that without the armor and all the weapon upgrades. And personally, I think if they were ever going to add this vehicle, this would be the perfect DLC to do it. And my final sports car is the 2020 Toyota Supra, another JDM vehicle that is new on the scene. And they've also just made a Rocket Bunny version of this, which would fit perfectly into the theme of this DLC. So the next category is the muscle car class. And my first vehicle is the ZR1 Exorcist Camaro. This is a ZR1 Camaro tuned by Hennessy, which has a thousand horsepower. I know the community has wanted a Camaro, a new Camaro, for a very long time. So it'll be a very nice addition to the game. We also have the Fox Body Mustang, and we already kind of have this in the form of the Vapid Uranus. 
um, but it's not officially in the car. We have this as a junk version that you can find um, dotted around the map, but we don't have an actual um, version of this that we can drive and customise. And my next car is the 2020 Charger Widebody. Uh, we don't really have a new Dodge Charger in the game. We have the Imponte Dukes, which is the classic one. And we have the new version, which is Franklin's car. Um, but it'd be nice to see a new version, sort of um, a Bravado Buffalo Hellfire, if you will. The next class is the Sports Classics category. And my first car is the original Ford GT40 featured in the Le Mans 66 film. I'm surprised that we haven't had this car in the game yet. I've made a few of these lists as I mentioned and I've, I keep putting it on this list because I think eventually this will get added. A very very nice car. They already have the um, bullet in the game so they could just call it like the bullet classic or something. But my second car is the Bugatti EB110, another classic Bugatti. We know how much Rockstar love to add Trafade and Bugatti vehicles into the game. This would be a really nice addition. And the next car is the Citroen 2CV. It's kind of a quirky car, but um, there has been a lot of mods made for this vehicle to add it into GT Online. And I think it's a car that the community would like. Then we move on to the SUVs class. We have the Jeep Trackhawk. This is a um, Jeep Grand Cherokee that has the 6.2 litre um, supercharged Hemi engine out the Hellcat in it. Uh, very, very nice SUV. The next car is the Mark 1 Range Rover. Now, in the previous update, we got the Winky, which is based on um the willys jeep a classic jeep so it'll be nice to see a classic range rover in the game and the last suv is the aston martin dbx um it's kind of a strange looking car i'm not really a fan of this one um i don't even know if it's in production yet i think it's still only a concept um, but we know again how much rockstar love concept cars so i could definitely see them adding this one then we move on to the off-road category and my first vehicle here is the 2020 Ford Bronco. This was also featured in the new Forza Horizon 5 trailer. Um, so I'm sure Rockstar will have seen that, that it's going to be in that game. So hopefully that will kick them into action and they will add this vehicle to GT Online. I think the community would absolutely love this one if it had the same suspension as the Yosemite Rancher. Everybody loved that vehicle when it got added. And if the Bronco handles the same, then I think people would really like it. And also a classic Ford Bronco would be quite a nice addition as well. Then we have the new um, 2020 Land Rover Defender. Now, I know not a lot of people are a fan of this vehicle. Um, but if it got added to GT Online and it had some good customization, I think it would be quite accepted. My next vehicle is the Dodge Ram TRX, and this is the main competitor to the uh, the Ford F-150 Raptor, which we already have in the game. Uh, so it would be nice to see some kind of bravado um, pickup truck. And the final class we're going to be looking at today is the compact class. And my first car is kind of a funny one. Uh, we've got the Peel P50. And I know I've put this one on some of my previous lists as well. But I think eventually Rockstar will add this. We have this vehicle in Forza Horizon 4. It's a really, really fun car to just mess around with. If they added it to GT Online, everybody would buy it. And um, there are already mods for this vehicle. The next one is also a bit of a uh, funny one and again we have this one in Forza Horizon 4 as well and it is the BMW Isetta and again like the Peel if they added this vehicle everybody would love it and buy it and it would make Rockstar a ton of money. 
And the final car we're looking at is the Honda E. Now, we don't yet have an electric vehicle in the compacts class. So having an electric Honda E style vehicle in the compacts class would be a really, really nice addition. Personally, I really like the look of the Honda E. It's a very retro looking car. And if they added some big spoilers and some nice upgrades to this thing, I think you could have a lot of fun with it. But those are my predictions for the 2021 Summer DLC in GTA Online. Let me know what you guys think of my predictions. How many of these vehicles do you think we're actually going to get? Do you have any other suggestions that you think I've missed? Let me know down in the comment section and I'll be sure to read those. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next video.